my car. <laughs> so, I brought another car. I gotta do some work on this. Exchanged some work on that for a new car because these ones that we've got, the Navara, the Mazda, my other 40 cars. Let me film it. They are all longer term things. The Navara needs to be done by April because that's when the Mazda, the other Mazda, runs out of MOT. So that's, that's high priority. This not so much. The MX-5 is just a plomb. I can't see it, I don't know why I turn. Don't want to see it. Sorry. So the MX-5 will come off the road for this. So I've got to build some, I don't have to. I've decided I want to build something for the first half of the year because the lorry is going to take even longer. So I brought something, something old, something very old, just after the war. <laughs> Shot car off, Jack's bought another car. Um, yes, it's quite a good deal though, I must admit. As, as much as I do hate his car purchasing capabilities, that it just turns up random crap and it turns up here. I don't know what you're talking about. But when they're all done, they will be good, if they get done. But yeah, it's quite a nice deal. Do that, you get a very pre-war, pre-war? Post-war. When was the war? You should know this. First World War was 1918, I think. Second World War was 30 something, late 30s till 45. <laughs> oh, we're not good at history either, it would appear. No, so I guess it's post First World War, pre Second World War. It's about 75 years old. I'm not going to say what it is until I get it, because knowing me, I probably won't end up with it. I'll probably have six different cars by then. But yes. In theory, in theory, we're going to do a bit of a, a British hot rod thing. Uh, yeah, so that's a hint for you. We're going to get a tow bar on the T5. That's going to be pretty soon, I hope. I don't know whether the light is going to show you the T5s out there. We're going to get a tow bar on that, get a trailer, and move some of Jack's products. Look at, look at him grinning. <laughs> He's so happy with himself. There's, there's, you can only work on one at a time. I, you know, I don't mind him having loads of projects, but at the minute they're fully taken over the workshop. We can't even move. So we're going to slim down what's here, take some of the stuff. Stuff, stuff over the to stuff. the, the stuff. We're gonna do them one at a time. Yeah, we're gonna do them one at a time. So we're gonna move well, some of the stuff back two over. Two at a time. Yeah, we're allowed to. Move some of that stuff back over to the old Dropworks HQ. Um, start plodding through some of these because once some stuff is out of the way, the chassis for the Navara can come right out into the middle of the workshop and we can get on with it. Yeah, plan of action: build the Navara. Yeah, let me move you. Build the Navara. Build this, so we can go and crash this at Santa Pod, and then build the lorry. But this new World War Jack is coming somewhere in the middle. It will probably be quite soon, hopefully. So I can take that to maybe Loco or something like that as a first outing. But let's, see. let's get on with the video. See what happens. Yeah, boy. Ooh. Are the lines meant to be lined up? Meant to be straight. Yeah, can't. Oh, well, let me just take this camera inside for you for a second. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the two lines. Oh, they're good. I don't know. That's not very, uh... Something's not quite level there. <laughs> the inside might not look right. <laughs> <laughs> We're fitting a window. I just felt I couldn't, I couldn't miss film in this moment in case the roof did fall down. Is that the carpentry attachment for the grinder? Yep. Through, <laughs> through the gap, but that is what we call in the business right on the motherfucking titties. <laughs> right, so now we've got to get that window from over there into this hole. Now, what we're we going to do first, we're going to put these, let's put the frame in. Frame? Yeah, we've got to put an upright here and a one across there. You ain't gonna put one across? Yeah, for the trim to go on to. Yeah, screw the trim on this. 
Oh, yeah, nice. I mean, um, we'll do it all properly. Yes, we'll do it all legitimately and make it safe. I don't know what the fuck's happened with this block. <laughs> Prior, do some work! The roof didn't fall down, there's a lot of stuff on top of there. Can you jinx it now? If I jinx it, I'll know I've jinxed it because I will be a foot smaller. <laughs> Screw hanging out this way. Nice! <laughs> oh god. That man nearly fell over outside. <laughs> I think individually we're quite good at carpentry. It's when we get together and start doing it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, and I never have been. Look at that driver. I could make you a lovely wall out of steel. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what she's waving at, but the window is in the hole. Now we better go on with some work. That last clip was blurry because we're still not used to having cameras that are proper cameras. This is what we were talking about. Which might be in focus this time. But we have got to do actual work first because if we don't, we will go broke uh, than normal. So we've been getting on with this. This is now, top half's all been painted. We're now putting it all back together. Fresh dash, done the interior. Done obviously the big tubs. Got a massive body drop. There's gonna be a video about this on the Lowdown channel. Um, I guess subscribe to that to watch that. Meanwhile, Gonna get on with the Navara. Possibly noticed that this is not the Navara, but deal with it. Ollie's brought this in because he wants these little tubs sorted out. Now he's asked me just to extend these, but the customer's never right. I'm always right. So I think what I'm going to do without telling him is actually just cut the full tubs out and just make new tubs from scratch. And I've also got to notch this bit of chassis to make clearance for the beam. I've got to take the corner off this because it's hitting the steering thing. Little tag I'll, I'll put his YouTube in the, uh, on the screen there. Wonderful. I'm going to film this while I do it just to prove that it doesn't always go as it's planned. We have to do this to pay the bills. So I'll film this, do the tabs, and at some point, maybe in the next year, I will actually work on the thing that I say I'm going to work on. I'm going to try not to buy any more cars between this and the end of the video. So, it's a new day. The camera ran out of battery, but we're done. You can see it's all in here, hole in the chassis fixed all tubbed in. What I've done is gone full width. Rather than having a tub on the side like last time, I've gone full width. I've left original tub, original tub, and just built them out from them. So, now we have a pair of tubs. I don't normally do work for other people through Dropworks as it's a brand. Um, 
but Ollie's a friend. Uh, go and check his YouTube and you'll see more on this car. He's now getting on with it. But pulled both the chassis rails in, pulled them in so they clear the beam because it runs a beetle beam. But that's all done now. And I think that's about it for this video. If you want to comment if you like this style of video or whether you'd want to go back to how that more how they used to be i don't really want to do how to's because i don't know how i forgot to say like subscribe do that stuff that you're meant to do to help us also still got some of these they're fresh on the website the green t-shirts there's some older stock but there is more merch coming and thanks to everyone who does buy it because it does help out massively because that's the only form of income that Dropworks has. Um, and I have a lot of stupid cars to build. Now, this new car is, is old. Now, I bought it thinking I could just bang some wheels on it, lower it and have something to use at the start of the year. But I went to look at it again and it's got mechanical brakes like it, it's old it's 75 years old so the brakes are done with rods and cables it hasn't even got hydraulic brakes so we might have to sacrifice the mx5 to run the subframes engine and bits in this new car just so it's a bit more not smash into the back of someone um and i think if i do that then it's obviously another big build which is completely out of character for me. So yeah, we've got like five big builds to do now, so plenty of videos coming. Uh, like, subscribe, thank you, comment, whatever. Nice. Fuck it, I was ready. Oh, fuck it. Fuck, ready! <laughs> <laughs>